Welcome back to Grandpa's Time. Hey, grandkids. And hello to anyone else that might be watching. I appreciate you watching. Thank you very much. It's nice to know that there's some people that are interested in what I'm saying. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and hit the little bell so you can get notifications of when I post new videos, which I'm currently doing twice a week, Tuesdays and Saturdays. I do that as long as I can. But, uh, Yes, so thanks again. Anyway, today I want to talk about something called the Rule of Threes. I'm sure that anybody that's ever listened to any bushcraft or survival channels or any of that kind of stuff has heard of the Rule of Threes before. But if you haven't heard of the Rule of Threes, I want to go over it with you. It's a really rough guide, but it gives you an idea and it's a way to remember things. So it's three minutes without air. It's that you can survive three minutes without air, three hours without shelter, three days without water, and three weeks without food. Now, is that a hundred percent true? I'm sure. I'm sure that everyone watching this could probably Google and find someone that's lived longer than three weeks without food, or they've lived longer than three minutes without air. It's a good general guideline. You know, the shelter, three hours without shelter, a lot of it's, if it's 80 degrees outside and you're walking and it's going to be 80 degrees all day, then you probably have longer than three hours. But it's a good guideline in order to think about, this is how long I can be exposed before I start having problems. All right, so rule of threes, one more time. Three minutes without air. Three hours without shelter, three days without water, and three weeks without food. You need to prioritize. If you're in, a, in an emergency situation, what do I need to do first? So you're breathing, so you don't have to worry about that. The next one's shelter. You need to you need to get shelter, or you need to build shelter. You need to provide yourself a shelter. Whether it's out of the sun, if you're in the desert, or whether it's out of the rain, whatever the situation is, you need to provide yourself some sort of shelter. And we're going to work on shelters in my upcoming videos. I've got some shelter videos planned. And three days without water. So a lot of people sit there and say, oh, I need to build traps and do all this stuff. Well, okay, that's, that's not yet. You need to get shelter. You need to figure out a way to provide yourself with water which we're also going to go over, and then the food, okay? Let me back up just a little bit. You've got shelter, water, and food, and I didn't talk about fire. So there's four things that you need to be comfortable in the in a situation, and shelter is one. A fire is another one for cooking your food and staying warm. Uh, water and food. So you don't need food immediately. But you can't you can't be super productive without eating, okay? So you need to be thinking about it. But you need to get a shelter built. And I kind of put fire either before water or at, right after water. It's I I really want to put it as number the number two most important thing because in a lot of cases you're going to need to boil your water unless you've got a filter with you. Or you know you have a clean source of water. So you get back to purification and one of the surest ways, or the surest way it probably is, is boiling. So anyway, I'm digressing a little bit, but I wanted to talk about that a little. So we're, I've worked on a bunch of fire videos and you can find them on the playlist on, on this channel. But, you know, shelter is big, fire, water, food. Think about them in that order for now. And uh, we're going to start doing some shelter videos. And we'll talk more about the other the other stuff down the road. So rule of threes. I hope this video is helpful. We'll be doing more of this stuff. And uh, I hope you're enjoying my videos. Thanks.